What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C4, continuing with the 2016 NFL Mock Draft Volume 2, where we look at each team's draft needs as well as grading their free agency period. Today, we're on the 23rd overall pick, which belongs to the Minnesota Vikings. Last year, the Vikings won 11-5 in the regular season with the 16th overall ranked offense and 5th overall ranked defense. Their top three needs going into this year's draft is offensive tackle, wide receiver, and inside linebacker. So before we jump into the draft, let's look at how they did in free agency. Added a lot of pieces and only really moved on from Mike Wallace, which was a very smart move. He was pretty much a cash cow, said some not great things about Teddy Bridgewater when he went to the Ravens. And realistically, he got outplayed and outshined by Stefan Diggs, who again, you know, the pretty much the biggest repeat on this channel is I called him being a stud. Anyways, uh, looking at what they added, I gave them a B overall because obviously moving on from Mike Wallace was a smart cap decision. They also brought in Alex Boone, the guard from the 49ers, four-year tw uh, four 27 mil, which is good. They brought in Michael Griffin, the safety, to replace uh, Blanton. Uh, they re-signed Mike Harris, who was a very good guard, got really good pro football focus ratings. And they brought in Andre Smith, the tackle from the Cincinnati Bengals. And kind of a prove-yourself deal, he had a little bit of a down year, but he probably will start at one of the tackle spots opposed to Phil Lodeholt. So yeah, B grade for the Minnesota Vikings, very solid there. So now it's time to look at the draft. Let's see how I have picked in previous years. In 2013, I had them going Manti Teo, the man with the invisible girlfriend, who actually did not do too bad last year with the San Diego Chargers. In 2014, I had Derek Carr, and uh, I'll let you Vikings fans in the comment section below really battle that one out. Who would, you, who would you rather between Derek Carr and Teddy Bridgewater? And last year in 2015, I called Trey Waynes, who, you know, did not look great at all last year. But that's hoping that was just an adjustment year and will be able to bounce back next year. They re-signed Terrence Newman, pr preferably... Uh, as cover, just in case Trey Waynes isn't ready to go or still struggles. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So now looking at 2016, some options. They can look at Taylor Decker at tackle. Uh, they can look at Will Fuller or Corey Coleman at wide receiver. Obviously, I have Corey Coleman gone off the board by now. Uh, but for me, the pick is going to be Josh Doxson, the wide receiver from TCU. I think he can start right away with Stephon Dix. He had a really, really great combine, maybe improved his stock the most out of all the wide receivers from the workout drills. And, I mean, you know, Minnesota needs weapons for Teddy Bridgewater ASAP. Uh, you know, the jury's still out on whether Bridgewater is going to be a legit starting quarterback and the answer to their problems. But they need to win now while AP is still, you know, riding that great run of form. Because it's only a matter of years till AP hits that wall and starts that running back decline. So I think they need to win now. And getting Teddy Bridgewater the, the options and the weapons that he needs outside is a major need. So let me know what you guys think about this pick. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.